Hey guys, it's Julia here, and I have a mystery box in front of me, which this box has five mystery laptops in it, and I'm going to be unboxing them today. Now, this video is going to be me unboxing and showing them. I will make future videos for Looking Forward, which is a new series where I show any new systems I get, and in that series, I will show each computer in detail, see if they work, and all that stuff, but in this box, was a mystery laptop lot, and I have five laptops in here. I have no idea what I'm gonna get. This is the first time I've ever done this. I hope I get something good. My guess is I feel like there's gonna be a Dell, an HP, and a Toshiba, but I don't know. I could be very wrong. I'm just speculating and guessing at this point because I know Dells and HPs are common, and I saw a lot of people say that they gotten Toshibas in their reviews, so... That's why I think those are the systems I would get, which we will see, guys. So this video is very special. I'm uploading it on Christmas, but I'm recording this a few days before. It's almost Christmas Eve, but I want to have time to edit the video and all that and get it out on time and schedule it. And I also hope you guys have a very good Christmas because this video will be going up on Christmas. So happy holidays. Um, we're going to be opening it. Hopefully this can open it, but... We're gonna see what's in this mystery laptops, which I have no idea what to expect. I mean, I said my guesses. I really hope they're good because they might have issues. It was a scrap lot, so we'll just have to see what we get in the scrap lot, which this could be good or bad. I really don't know yet. It's a mystery. Um, I see bubble wrap. Um, let me... Oh yeah, before I open it, this says, please handle with care, do not drop, thank you. So they have a thing to say not to drop it. Let me set this down for a second so I can open the rest of this. There's bubble wrap, so we can't necessarily see what's in it yet until I actually open it. And this is the first time I'm opening this because I actually don't know what's in here. And I don't know what to expect either. So, oh boy. What do, what do we have? Oh boy, I see something. There's a sticker. Or this is just the order. Okay. I might have to cut that out because it showed the order and stuff. Lots of bubble wrap. They really are very cautious about their bubble wrap. Oh, there they are. I see a Chromebook. I see two Chromebooks. Okay. Okay, so this is the first Chromebook. It's a Lenovo, and it's beaten up a bit. Um, that's interesting. So this isn't the best so far, because we have one Chromebook. Hopefully, I think I see three Chromebooks. Yeah, there's three Chromebooks in here. Wow. I was not expecting the box to be this bad. Um, guys, we got Chromebooks. I don't even know if they work. We have a Dell, though. And that might be a more... I don't know if that's a modern or old Dell. I cannot tell. Looks like an older one. Um, this Chromebook looks to be in better, sh better shape. Like, out of all the Chromebooks I've gotten, this Lenovo Chromebook right here looks like it's in better shape. So... We got three Chromebooks, a Dell, and I don't know what that is down there. I don't think these are Chromebooks. A Toshiba. I knew it. I knew there'd be a Toshiba in here. This belonged to a school, I think. It's a Dell. I don't know what kind of Dell this is. I need to open it. Oh, it's a Windows 7 era i5. This actually looks nice. A Latitude. E6510. That's not a bad system at all, actually. This is probably the best one I think I've gotten in this lot. You know, no battery, but that's honestly fine. This is not bad. Um, might want to set that over there. And the fifth one is a Toshiba, and it looks like a C655. Please don't be a C655D. Oh yeah, it's a C655 Core i3. 
already have one of these. I mean, it might work. Uh, there's no battery in this one either, but that's honestly fine because I have a battery for it because I have the other one that I have so I can take a battery from that. So these are the computers I got. There's five of them. I'm a bit disappointed about the Chromebooks. I don't know, even know if they work. But the other two systems, I mean, I don't even know if these are supported Chromebooks anymore. Who knows if these are still supported. They're probably not because they're older. But I'll say this was an interesting experience. And this one's definitely beaten up and has seen better days. This one's like, oh god, it's all broken right here. Yeah. Um, I might test these off camera. I'm not sure if I'm going to um, make videos on all each Chromebook individually for looking forward. I'll probably just have all three of them in one video. The Dell in one and the Toshiba in one. You can see there's a key broken there. So, yeah. I will show the ports on them all. I'll also show you guys the other ones as well, but I'll say this. Was this really worth $100? I don't even think so, um, but this might work. The Dell and the Toshiba probably work, but the Chromebooks, I'm not so sure on the Chromebooks because they look pretty beaten up, except one of them looks like it could work. So I'll probably end up like maybe modding them or something because I know you can mod Chromebooks. But I'll just set them carefully back in there. Um, I'm gonna probably test them. I don't know if I'll test them in looking forward or not. We'll see. But being honest, like I wish they didn't include this many Chromebooks. Like I would have liked if they added variety, but they put three of the same computer in this box, which was a bit disappointing in my opinion because it's the same system and it's three of them and Chromebooks are not you know the greatest so you know maybe I can try and make one good Chromebook out of it if like one of them's broken or something maybe I can make one good one potentially because it's the same Chromebook and I will say I think the Dell is probably the best one in this lot I'd have to look up the specs and all that and see which one would be the best. And I also doubt they have hard drives in them. They don't even have batteries. And there was no chargers included, which is expected. But I have the universal charger, so it's completely fine. But basically, that is the mystery box. Would I ever do this again? I'm not sure because this isn't very good luck in my opinion. But this is a luck-based thing. And I have seen some people get good things out of it. So I think it really just depends. So, we basically got three Lenovo Chromebooks, a Dell, and a Toshiba, which I expected Dell and Toshiba, being honest. Surprised there wasn't an HP in there. Anyways, guys, I know if it wasn't- I'm sorry if it wasn't very exciting, I didn't know what to expect in this box, but... This is just a different type of video, something I haven't done. I've been wanting to get one of these for over a year, but didn't do it. But now I did it, so you guys got to see them, and... Yeah, so, what do you guys think below? You can, guys can leave comments, but, I mean, I'm going to test them and see if they work, and I'll give a better opinion on what I think of these. I might add on another video, because being honest, I might test them right now just to see if they work at least before I make videos on them, and then I can make videos on them once I do that and see, but... Anyways, thanks for watching. I might add a video on, but that's it for this clip, and bye-bye for now.